I love playing this character. It would definitely be weird to kind of continue on without James, but like, I don't know, maybe there's a, there's a special magical way that he could still oversee the characters. We'll all fly away together into the forever and beautiful sky. I got them flipped. Oh well. <laughs> That's perfect. That's so fun. Um, well, I really love your characters. I'm going to miss them. Um, Us too. Yeah, we're going to miss them too. Well, there's an Avengers coming. So would you be up for if they called and said, uh, we need a uh, Mantis and Nebula? Oh yeah, there's like another. The there's another Avengers movie Is in there? the works, right? Oh. I mean, oh, you know oh yes, yes, yes. What? Gang of the Conqueror. Oh, yeah. I mean, they, they haven't called us, so... Yeah. What on earth? Would you be up for it, though? <gasps> what? Of would course! You be up for it? I would call? definitely be up for it. I, I love playing this character. It would definitely be weird to kind of continue on without James, but, like, I don't know, maybe there's a, there's a special magical way that he could still oversee the characters, in which case, that would be amazing. Mm -hmm. For both that have had an arc over these three films, and plus the other movies, um, so... For Nebula, I mean, she was this hard ass, like no emotion kind of person, and she's kind of changed. And then what I love about Mance is that she started the soft spoken, you know, and then she's like yelling, <laughs> like, yeah, you know, yeah, for sure. So, can you talk about your arc for, for each of your characters? I mean, in some way, like Nebula and Mantis are at the polar opposite of, yeah. you know, and, and then they can like meet each other, like, right? They mm -hmm. become like more, like, more like the other person. Yeah, right you get a little bit more aggression to Yeah, you. and then you get and more And I soften empathy. up a little bit yeah. and more empathetic towards other people. Her? That's ridiculous. Do not bring me into this. Don't even. <laughs> Knock it off! What? Yeah, no, I, I mean, that's the beauty of James Gunn's writing. You know, every single character is given so much time and care and everyone goes through an arc. He never gets lazy, uh, like it's, it's everyone has just been given so much to play with and um, yeah, these characters have been brilliant. Karen, you get some cool weapons. Uh, I've got a cool, cool new arm <laughs> that turns into almost anything. Which is yeah, kind it was, of fun. It was really cool. Did, did you, uh, when did you find out about your cool new uh, powers? Uh, probably when I read the script actually. Um, James is very um, specific in the script so mm -hmm. you pretty much know everything from reading that. But yeah, I was excited about my new arm. It was more comfortable to wear and it turned into so many fun things. Um, and I watched it in the movie and I was like, oh, that's really cool. Some is of it, is it, it when has. you actually discovered the look of your arm in the movie, when you watched the movie? Yeah. Or did you see some like um, behind the scenes, you know, before shooting? Well, I wear some of the arm, like to here, I'm wearing it. So I know yeah. what it's going to look like. But then with all the CGI enhancements of when it turns into all the tendrils and stuff, that I didn't know what that was going to oh, look yeah, like. So I was cool. like, whoa, this is wild. Mm -hmm. Are you going to miss the makeup part? Because you guys have to go through this elaborate makeup you know, process, I mean, she, right? I'm, I'm more lucky than uh, uh, Karen in, in that department. My makeup takes around like an hour and 40 minutes, which is not bad for, for you know, these kind of movies. But for... For Karen, it's like a lot of hours to like do four. the makeup and then to take off the makeup. So it's mm -hmm. it's harsh on the skin. Yeah, it's definitely hard going, but it's worth it because I get to look completely different and just kind of literally wear the character's skin, which just helps play the character in a way. Um, did you, along the way, did you have input into your character? Or was it all just, just James kind of telling you, like, this is where it's going to go? I or think did you have any input? James Gunn is an incredible uh, director, writer, and visionary. So he had like all the characters in mind since the beginning, and, and with their mm -hmm. the the arc of the of the character. But I think maybe by knowing us more and what we can do and mm -hmm. our um, personalities in real life, he kind of like shaped the the characters a little bit more uh, in a different way. So I think he brought a little bit more comedy, and Saiba is more vulnerable to Karen because she's also hilarious in real life. And maybe for me, you know, I kept asking, I need to kick ass, I need to fight. So I think I, I got to show that too, maybe because I kept asking for it. I don't know. No, I think but it's maybe... because you're so good at fighting and jump out of planes for fun. So James was like, oh, I better like use that because, <laughs> you know, that's such a unique skill for an actor. <laughs>
Oh, yeah, and Paul, we're going to see you in Dead Reckoning. I just saw a trailer at CinemaCon, some footage oh, really? from you, and you're like, oh, woman. Oh, yeah, I know you some king ass too there, yeah. I'm so excited for that movie. Ah. I would love for her to come, like, so we can do, like, promotion of the movie together. <laughs> Even if she's not in the movie, I don't know. Is that possible? <laughs> yeah, I'll be, be there. I'll be there. You can be emotional support. <laughs> <Yes>. uh, yeah. <laughs> um, and what was... Uh, in this last outing, or maybe not last outing, last outing, what was uh, your favorite moment that you'll share, cherish forever? I mean, there's like a pretty cool slow motion yeah. shot, and yeah. we, we walk uh, with the, the new costumes of the Guardians of the Galaxy, and there's a really cool music playing too. Beastie Boys, uh -huh. and we're walking in slow motion, and we look cool, and then we go right into the most epic fight sequence I've seen in <laughs> ages. Like, yeah, it's incredible. So you have to see this movie just for this fight sequence. <laughs> On yeah, the you, guys, you guys have a lot of fighting in this one, which is like, cool. Especially Mantis, because you, you know, usually she's quiet, she's got the, you know, she's got to touch the person. <laughs> yes, exactly, but yeah, there's also a funny fight scene with Mantis where she, she uses her powers too that I love to shoot. It was so much fun. <laughs> Well, congratulations. Like I said, I'm going to really miss these characters. They're so much fun. and uh, But still hoping that you'll, we'll see you in some other maybe Christmas specials or an adventure movie. Maybe. Yeah. We'll see.